So I just got to the area of Deir Hijla, a monastery uh, under the control of the Greek Orthodox uh, Patriarchate in the middle of the Judean Desert. Back in the Byzantine period, the Judean Desert uh, was known as the Holy Desert. Um, lots and lots of people wanted to feel what the Israelites felt um, in the wilderness. Lots of people wanted to feel what Elijah felt in the wilderness and what Jesus felt. Let's not forget that after baptism, Jesus went to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Out of 70 monasteries in the wilderness, today we have three or four that are still active. One of them is uh, the monastery of St. Gerasimus. Uh, we're about a mile and a half from the Jordan River where Jesus was baptized But the importance of this place takes us back to the early life of Jesus uh, According to tradition the Holy Family on their way to Egypt stopped in this area This is the second icon where Virgin Mary is breastfeeding Jesus. So who's Gerasimus, St. Gerasimus? Uh, he came from Turkey in uh, the 5th century. He was from a wealthy family and he did a revolution in uh, the monastic life. Um, back in the Byzantine period, monks used to live either in caves or in monasteries. And he came up with the idea of establishing a laura, which means monks can live in caves on weekdays and they met in a monastery or a building in the center of their community on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, the monks that lived in this area were living a very strict life. According um, to many historians, they used to eat only dates and bread. St. Gerasimus is always depicted with a lion because according to a tradition, uh, he healed a lion in the wilderness and this lion became his pet. And when the donkeys of the monastery were stolen, the uh, lion started serving uh, the monastery, bringing water and carrying goods and so on. The monastery we have today is from the 16th century, built on the remains of a crusader one and a Byzantine monastery. Relics from the monks uh, who lived here can be seen inside the church. Uh, remains and relics from uh, monks who were killed during the Persian invasion are located in the basement. So that's it for today folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, more content will be uploaded soon, take care.